Hey, what's up, Stock Compounders? Brad here. So big news with Seritage Growth Properties recently. Uh, Eddie Lampert recently filed on November 30th um, an S3 and a 13D, okay? Now, I want to talk about what this means, uh, at least from my perspective. And I want to start by pointing out, you know, these OP units, these operating partnership units, that have been largely controlled by Eddie Lampert. Uh, this this has never been a secret, okay? If you look at the 10K, the most recent 10K for Seritage Growth Properties, uh, you can see right here, weighted average common shares and units outstanding, okay? And it kind of goes from 2018, 2019, 2020. You see the Class A shares outstanding, 38 million. Uh, as of 2020, and then the OP units outstanding, okay, about 17.6 million. Now the OP units are convertible on a one-to-one -one basis into Class A shares. And the big news recently is that um, Eddie Lampert decided to convert those OP units into Class A shares. Uh, this is something I've known could happen uh, at any time, but it seems to have happened, okay? And so the big news, I think what's getting people worked up uh, is possibly because you can see this S3 has been filed. Usually what an S3 means uh, is that a company is issuing equity, okay? Um, SEC Form S3 explained. Generally filed concurrently with common stock or preferred stock offerings. Okay, so usually a company is, is issuing stock to raise capital when it files an S3. Now I think this is a bit of a different situation here. Uh, the company isn't raising capital. Uh, I think there's some nuance that has to do with the operating partnership units that SRG is required to submit a Form S3. Uh, but the proceeds of any sale from these operating partnership units being converted into Class A shares do not go to the company, okay? They go to Eddie Lampert. Um, so you guys can read through the S3 and the 13D if you want to. I'm going to point out something I noticed that I thought was interesting. So we've got this amount to be registered. This is the Class A shares currently owned by Eddie Lampert and the OP units that he owns. So 16.4 million shares are what Eddie Lampert controls um, at the moment. And what, what caught my attention is this purpose of transaction, this item four in the 13D, okay? Uh, and I'm just gonna read through this real quick. On November 30th, further to a request by Mr. Lampert, under the terms of the registration rights agreement, the issuer filed a registration statement on Form S3 that upon effectiveness will register the offering and resale of one, Class A shares held by Mr. Lampert, and that's some four odd million shares, um, and two, Class A shares that may be issued to them upon redemption of their respective OP units. Now this is the important part here. Mr. Lampert currently believes that based on current trading prices, which as of today, Seritage is trading around $14 per share, the Class A shares are undervalued, okay? None of Mr. Lampert currently intend to sell Class A shares through an underwritten offering. However, Mr. Lampert uh, and you know the Nicholas Trust, the Nina Trust, expect to sell Class A shares registered pursuant to the registration statement from time to time in privately negotiated transactions. So blah, blah, blah. So basically what this is t telling me is that you know Eddie Lampert wants to be able to unload these shares you know whenever he wants to, okay? He wants to have the option to sell as many of these shares as he owns. 
Um, so that could be concerning, right? Eddie Lampert is by far the largest insider shareholder for Seritage Growth Properties. Um, and, you know, I don't know what to make of this. The, this um, It seems like he put this in here to try to uh, you know, reassure the existing shareholders that, you know, th this isn't a move so that Eddie Lampert can quickly dump his entire position in SRG. And I don't know all of the, you know, tax implications of converting OP units. There may be reasons that we're not aware of uh, that, that he would do this now, um, other than to be able to unload shares. Uh, I just don't know what those would be. Uh, but it, it's it's definitely, you know, it, it's noteworthy. And it seems to have caught the market's attention because uh, SRG took a bit of a pounding yesterday. It, it kind of rebounded today. Uh, but it will be very interesting to see what Eddie Lampert does with his equity stake in Seritage Growth Properties over the coming weeks and coming months. It's something I'm going to be paying close attention to. Um, but, you know, th there's not a lot in here to chew on other than this little item for purpose of transaction. Uh, if any of you saw something that I may have missed in these two documents, the S3 and the 13D, please let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, as far as I'm concerned, I don't have enough to go on here uh, to give me concern uh, that Eddie might be you know, preparing for a major fire sale with his stake in Seritage. I just don't... There's, there's nothing to really indicate that that's the case to me. Um, other than, of course, you know, he's, it, it's much easier to unload his position now that it's been converted from those OP units into Class A shares. Um, and that, that's what has people concerned. But like I said, if you guys have any insights on this, hit me up in the comments. Um, but, you know, over the last day or two, I haven't seen any selling from Eddie Lampert. Um, but, of course, being such a large shareholder, uh, they will have to file uh, right away if Eddie Lampert sells any shares. So uh, we'll be watching for that. And, um, yeah, onward and upward. All right, guys, see you in the next video. Take care.